What's going on crew? This is Ralph back with RN. I'm gonna show you a little something I picked up. Uh, traded, actually I should say, a uh, car and a uh, weed eater for this. Uh, actually very, very, might come in very handy cause I'm wanting to get into a little bit more of uh, the landscaping and uh, things of that nature with uh, Nathan and uh, Holland Mulch, Rock, blah, blah, blah. Uh, all we had was our open face trailers and uh, I've got that enclosed now. So really looking, I, I looked around and uh, one of the gentlemen I worked with that <laughs> <laughs> I've traded around with a lot. The one I actually got uh, the enclosed trailer over there, if you can see it, uh, actually gives me pretty good deals. Me and him trade around back and forth. Um, Brian from uh, Triple J's Lawn Care. I don't know if he's still doing videos here on YouTube or not. I wish he would. Uh, I showed you his setup with his trailer and everything back yonder. But uh, I was gonna actually show you this thing. That I picked up. I'm gonna give it a little bit of TLC over the winter, uh, painting and everything. So uh, don't judge it just by the way it looks right now. Uh, I think it actually was a heck of a deal. So it's a uh, old homesteader dump trailer, dual axle. I believe it holds uh, right around seven thousand pounds, something like that. I think it's 3,500 pound axle, so you probably don't want to uh, get it to uh, 7,000 pounds, but uh, it's actually got the uh, back, whatever you want to call it, the gate actually folds open to where you can like lay rock with it or mulch dump it, and it folds down the opposite way too. Uh, just wanted to show you a little bit. He actually, I believe, traded for it too. Got to paint it, clean it up a little bit. Uh, but wanted he actually put this little thing on it. I don't know if anybody's watched any of his videos. It's a uh, wireless remote. It actually comes, I can buy a wired remote for it. Uh, it just runs off a of battery, constantly charges when you have it hooked to the vehicle. Uh, actually rides really well behind the 1500. I don't have a diesel to pull it. Uh, so I don't think I'm going to put anything that heavy in it. Uh, I do got to get some new shoes for it. The tires right there, they're wearing down a little bit. I found some 10 ply tires, four of them for uh, 225 bucks. I don't know if that's mounted or balanced, but, uh, we'll let you see this thing, uh, raised up here. Got to turn the, got a little switch air on the side. Turn that thing on and very, very well balanced. Very well balanced. So. And when you're getting under these things, be really careful because I mean, they can, they can drop down on you. That's what this little thing's for, so we'll let that down a little. Put it up in there. Well, it was off just a little. You don't want one of these things dropping on your head and making it a pancake, that's for sure. Uh, motor's actually really powerful. I haven't seen any leaks or anything in the hydraulics which I used to drive the little mini trucks around when I was younger. So I know a lot about hydraulics and stuff. So, but I checked out the hydraulics and everything. Everything looks amazing on it. Um, of course you got your big battery there, your wireless remote system right here. Uh, you can actually still hook a wired remote in it. If you want to, you got your little thing to throw your wired remote in, uh, your, uh, actual seven pin thing because it actually has electric brakes because in case you haul something heavy but as you can tell underneath it 
Looks pretty decent. It's just got to be cleaned up. Sand it down a little bit. Everything that I really need for, you know, what I've got in it. So I can't, I can't beat it. And it actually extends, if I don't hit the roof here, it almost goes to a 90 degree angle. Make sure that we're not gonna hit the roof here in the barn. But. That's without, it's about to hit up there. But uh, I actually got a little bit more that I can lift it up to uh, dumping things. Gonna just do the high gloss paint on it. I'm not no painter, so it ain't gonna look perfect. Probably the stripes on the side are gonna be gone. I am gonna put the reflective strips on it and stuff. There's a little bit of a side view. If y'all can remember this, this old trailer that I used to use. Uh, it's just sitting here now. I ain't gonna sell it. I give it to my dad actually when I got my enclosed. <clears throat> but there she is. She's actually goes up higher than that. But as you can as you can see, I mean it works like a dream. I haven't charged it or anything here in the last little bit. Might need to grease up that uh, big pipe there. Listen to her, quiet and smooth, baby. But she works really, really, really well for, uh, you know, just the old dump trailer. Didn't want to go out and buy one new. Things are like five, $6,000 for this size, brand new. So this suits my purposes just fine. Uh, really really i think i'm gonna really enjoy this uh when we go to do mulch jobs and as i was telling you in one of the other videos i got some landscaping stuff i need to do this fall this winter so look for this thing to be used on that uh hopefully it makes it a little easier on us instead of putting the tarp down in the uh trailer like we've done with this one if you've seen some of our other mulch jobs i just put a tarp down filled it full of mulch and then we got it out of there so i believe this thing is going to come in handy and as you can tell it's been beat up a little bit uh brian actually had a winch on it to like pull logs and rock and stuff up into it if he was by himself which i probably need to go to harbor freight and actually get me one of those winches for it but Thing works amazing, rides good. Like I said, I just gotta get some shoes, things of that nature for this bad boy. And uh, we'll be on the road, slap some paint on it. As you can tell down in here, there's no holes. There is some pivots, spots in the steel and stuff and dents from uh, it being used. But if it ain't getting used, what's the point in having it? So I'm gonna use the fire out of it, hopefully. And I believe that's all I gotta say on this one, crew. I mean, it's pretty much, I just wanted to show you one of the new little toys that I picked up. I appreciate y'all for stopping by watching this video. Hopefully you liked it. It was not informative and you didn't learn nothing from it, that's for sure. But uh, we appreciate y'all stopping by, checking out the video, looking at the new toy. And if you watch our videos, you're 50% more attractive if you subscribe and become a member of the crew, you're 100% more attractive, and I can guarantee you that. And we'll catch y'all out there, hopefully, hauling some mulch or rock.